Hi, second grade. Today we're gonna to be finishing our Keith Herring artwork. And as you can see here, I have a finished one. The materials you're gonna need is your in-progress drawing. So here's my in-progress one. I haven't quite finished coloring it in with marker. You are also gonna need um, the sheet. Feel free to cut it out and put it in your sketchbook. Um, for those of you that don't have it, your classroom teacher will have it. We are gonna be using this um, to guide us into making lines. So the first thing I wanna talk about is um, coloring in with marker if you haven't yet finished. You do wanna make sure you color in the whole thing with marker and you want it to be bold and solid. So you don't wanna see a lot of white coming through the paper. One tip when coloring with marker, if you're having issues with it, go slow. Take your time so that way the ink can come out of the tip here and then try not to color on the tip like that. You get really tiny lines. Try to put your hand back on the marker and use the side of the marker there. So finish coloring it in. So you can see that when I go faster, it gets a little like white like that. But if I slow down, all the ink will come out of the marker decently. And I just have a piece of paper behind my paper so that way I'm not getting it all over my table. There you go. So go through and finish up coloring in any spots that you may have missed. All right. The next part that you're going to do is take a black marker. You may also use brown if you'd like. Brown will show up. I'm going to be using a permanent marker because all my black um, markers that you're, you're using are all dead at home. So I'm just using this. And you're gonna go through and you are going to outline all of the lines that you put on your paper. So I have a heart here and I've already outlined it. I'm gonna outline all of my characters. Take your time, go slow. If you have any other things, I know that some of you had words because you were having your characters say something, outline those as well. Once you have finished outlining all your characters, you also need to put a dark, bold black line on your floor line here, or ground line, because this could be the grass and the sun, or this could be the floor and a wall. And I am just gonna finish filling or outlining this character for you, and then I'll talk about what to do next. You might not finish this today, and that's okay. If you don't finish, we'll work on it again next week. So after you've outlined it all, and I know I have not outlined this one yet, so I will do that, is you're gonna be taking the sheet and just take a look at it. Notice all the interesting lines that are on here. This one's really good, all the interesting lines. And we're gonna go in and fill in our whole paper with lines, shapes too if you want. You can notice here that I put in some hearts. And so I'm gonna do some of this for you using some of the lines that they have here. This really does look really cool when you're done. Okay, so Keith Haring loved lines and he really liked black bold lines and a bold color like this. So I just like to start anywhere and I just let the pencil do the talking. You could have square-like lines here. And so if you look over here, he's got some square ones on here. You could have zigzag lines. He does have some zigzag lines. He also has these really cool swirls that I really like. Start in the middle and swirl your way out. And they can branch off maybe into his arm. And then he does a lot of this where he has these sort of, like if you look here, there's a swirl and then it almost look like eyelashes. Um, so you could do some of that. And you're gonna fill in your whole paper, all of your characters with line, just single lines. You don't have to darken them or make them more bold. Just draw lines. 
if you wanted to start with pencil and then go back over it with marker, you can, but I'm not requiring you to do so. And I got just his leg left here. Mm, kind of like that sort of zigzag looking line, sort of zigzaggy, I guess. And I can get bigger as I go down. Maybe just some there. And then you'll go off and continue to do the other one. Something else that Keith Haring did in his artwork is he put like those lines that are radiating out of somebody's head like this. It almost seems like his characters are excited. So you can add some of those here. And then he also did motion lines that make people look like they're moving. So to me, this kind of looks like they're dancing. So you can have motion lines throughout your character's body. Some big, some small. Let's make this one a little bigger. You can overlap that line, that's fine. And then this guy over here. But now it gives it a sense that, ooh, they're dancing. <clears throat> so after you've filled in your characters, I'm going to leave the heart plain. I really want it to stand out. I noticed that when I did that on this one, it did look really nice to just have that one thing sort of stand out and be and be plain. So then you're going to do the background too. You can do a, um, let's bring this back. You can do one solid line like this was just one continuous line. I never picked up my pencil. Or you could do the same thing that you've done inside of your characters. I just like the artwork to sort of do the talking for me. I just start drawing lines and then just continue to go. I'm not too concerned with what they look like. I'm more enjoying the process of just making them. And they can be different. They can be the same. Remember all the lines that we've talked about over the years. Zigzag, curvy, even dotted lines. I didn't think of that before. My motion lines are kind of getting hidden, so I might want to go back and darken them. But otherwise, it's okay. But yeah, it'd be cool to have some dotted lines on here too, or like slash lines, kind of like this. That looks fun. And then again, if your marker is starting to get a little dry, slow down. This isn't a race. You're, you should always take time on your art. You know that you're done when your whole project is filled in with line. Again, you can use black or brown. You can also, like I said, do shape up at the top or at the bottom if you wanted. But I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.